All right, boys and girls, we're back for another video. This one is on some tough trigonometry questions from the ACT math. Let's take a look. The first one is right here, number 46. First of all, we should remember how some of this stuff works, really. What is tangent? Tangent is equal to sine over cosine. So that's going to help us with this question, at least. So we have tangent, which is sine theta over cosine theta, all over sine of theta. And at that point, you can probably see what the answer is going to be, but for me, I always put this over 1, really, just so it's an even complex fraction like that. We say keep, change, and then flip. Keep, change, flip, so that'll become sine theta over cosine theta times 1 over sine theta. And at that point, you can understand that this sine theta, this sine theta cancel, I'm left with just 1 over cosine of theta. The answer is g. In fact, if they had put secant theta there, that also wouldn't have been an answer choice. That would have been the right answer choice, because remember, secant is equal to 1 over cosine. That's going to come in pretty handy in a little bit. Let's keep going. Let's come over here for number 44 when you're ready. If you want, try this question, pause it here, and let's take a stab together. So the first thing is it's saying, which of them is not equal to tan? Which of them is not equal to tan? Well, first of all, is it f? Well, cotangent is 1 over tangent. In other words, they are reciprocal. So 1 over cotangent, that is equal to tangent. So that's wrong. What about the next one, secant over cosecant? Well, secant is 1 over cosine over 1 over sine. Again, secant is 1 over cosine. Cosecant is 1 over sine. And again, that's a keep, change, flip, right? Keep, change, flip. So that'll become 1 over cosine times sine over 1, which becomes sine over cosine. And like we said earlier, that is tangent. That is wrong. We're trying to find what isn't equal to tangent. In which case, take a look at h. h is also just tangent, literally straight up sine over cosine. Let's look at j. j is cosine times 1 over sine. Oh, and that's actually cosine over sine, which equals cotangent. That's not tangent. Okay, cool. So I really like the answer of j. But let's take a look at k just to make sure. k says sine times 1 over cosine, which is sine over cosine. And again, that is tangent. So it's definitely not k. It's definitely J. Let me know if you have any questions on that down below. But let's finish off with one last trig problem from the ACT math, and that's down here at number 59. Again, if you'd like, please pause here and try this one on your own. But I have a pretty cool way to do this one really kind of quickly. The first thing is, anytime they give you trig like that, first of all, I didn't read the whole question. There's no need to. Because the second I see sine of x equals Four fifths, I just draw myself a triangle. I say, okay, well, that angle is x, and it's saying opposite and hypotenuse goes like that. Really, sine of x is four fifths. Well, at that point, they're asking for secant. Well, secant is one over cosine, better yet, cosine was adjacent over hypotenuse, so we don't want adjacent over hypotenuse, we want the reciprocal of that hypotenuse over adjacent. Again, hypotenuse over adjacent. In which case, we know that this is a 3, 4, 5 triangle from Pythagorean theorem, or Pythagorean triples, and then we're done. What's hypotenuse over adjacent? It's E. So that is it for this question, and really this whole video. I'll zoom out so you can see all three questions, if you would, if you'd like to. If this video helped you understand something, leave me a like, a share, and a subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.